Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 74 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of retrograde CTO PCI that was complicated by stent loss. The patient had a right coronary artery CTO. There was an ambiguous proximal cap with a large marginal originated at the proximal cap. The length was about 30 millimeters and the distal vessel was of good size without significant disease. There were also some septal collaterals from the LAD to the posterior descending artery. We initially tried an undergrade crossing attempt, however, um, the undergrade cross pause and, and guide wire went subintimally and we were unable to re-enter into the distal true lumen and as you can see we have a fairly extensive subintimal hematoma in the distal right coronary artery. Given the presence of good collaterals from the LAD, we changed to retrograde crossing. We were able to advance a Corsair retrograde into the posterior descending artery. And then we were easily able to advance a retrograde guide wire into the undergrade guide catheter. Proximal to lumen position of the retrograde guide wire was confirmed with intravascular ultrasound, showing that the wire is indeed into the lumen. After stent placement, a nice result was achieved with Timothy flow in the right coronary artery. Checking the donor vessel after the retrograde gear was removed demonstrated, however, a lesion that was worse than before in the middle AD that was possibly due to injury from the retrograde equipment. Therefore, a decision was made to place a stand in the middle AD. However, we could not deliver a stand, and when the stand was pulled back into the guide, it came off the balloon. This is the most common mechanism of stent loss, which is deformation during attempts to advance it. And then when the stent is withdrawn, it is stripped off the guide catheter of the balloon and into the vessel. An important component about how to manage stent loss is that you don't always have to retrieve it. In this particular case, we had to because it was in the left main, but in many cases, if the stand is lost in a non-critical location, it can be either deployed or crushed with another stand. As David Holmes um, used to say, attempts at removal may actually make things worse. And the way to remove it, the easiest way, is um, to advance a small balloon through. That's a small balloon technique. The balloon is advanced through the lost stand. It's inflated distally, and then the whole assembly is withdrawn. Another way to do this is using a loop snare to snare the stand and get it out. In this particular case, we could not snare the stand, and in the process, we actually lost guide wire position. So how to rewire in the left main, and we perform a travascular ultrasound, which demonstrates the lost stand, it's sitting in the lumen of the left main and then comes back all the way into the aorta. We then used uh, a snare, a three loop snare, and fortunately we were able to grasp uh, the front end of the stand and then remove the stand and that's what came out. The stand is highly deformed but uh, has been uh, successfully retrieved. Intravascular ultrasound afterwards demonstrated that the stand was no longer in the left main. Of course, there was severe disease in the mid LAD, and it appears there was an old stand there as well that had reached an ost and was underexpanded. So we performed um, stand implantation with a nice and geographic result, restoring TM3 flow into the LAD. So in summary, donor vessel injury is a potential complication of CTOPCI that can be very dangerous. In this particular case, it was not an occlusive lesion causing hemodynamic compromise. Nevertheless, it did. Uh, it was challenging to advance st uh, stents through the lesion, leading to stent loss requiring stent retrieval. Being familiar with ways to retrieve a stent, which is a small balloon technique, potentially using snares, and even more importantly, not retrieving the stent by either deploying or crushing it, is important when stent loss occurs. Thank you.